today uh, we will be fixing a device that have a firmware pass passcode so uh, the the problem with firmware passcode is you cannot put any ssd or hard drive to the device to make it work because uh, it will appear the firmware passcode uh, check this one when you press a uh, alt option to see if there's a hard disk or storage device there's nothing it will appear and also and also when you uh, receive the parent nothing so what we're going to do is to fix this uh, problem we need to remove the primary passcode then install uh, SSD or storage device and as you can see it will uh, appear only like this there's no operating system or if you like turn off and uh, check if there's a uh, any storage uh, device uh, connected the primary passcode uh, appear see like this So now we'll be uh, doing uh, firmware IC uh, replacement. We will uh, replace uh, this uh, IC. This IC hold the firmware, so we have to take it out and uh, replace a new one. That without uh, firmware pass password. So now I have uh, this IC. Uh, which I bought uh, online. So we will uh, replace this one. Guys, if you ever uh, replacing uh, an IC, you should uh, take a picture or uh, to make sure the orientation is uh, correct because uh, you cannot put it uh, wrong. It will damage the board or it will make your device dead. So just take a picture on, uh, before you replace anything. If you ever uh, forgot to take a picture and you forgot the orientation too, so 
just uh, check the board board view and uh, check the orientation before you connect uh, the IC because uh, if you connect connect it uh, wrong uh, it's only one time it will damage the board or it will burn the IC so just be careful This is the former IC, that, uh, the new one, and this is the old one. So now it's time to reassemble the board and check if, if the former password was removed.
so now guys after uh, we install the IC so we have to check if it's working yeah now as you can see dart is uh, there already so it means the primer password is already removed and before you scroll uh, anything backside you have to check it first sometimes uh, the IC will not work so it's not easy to remove again all the screw and then uh, again remove the IC so now I did not uh, screw anything yet because I have to install a new operating system on this one but uh, I'm glad it worked sometimes when you order online uh, they will send you a bad, bad quality IC uh, it's not even working so be careful uh, where you order and you have to order on someone that you can trust so that's it uh, guys uh, until uh, next time uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, new videos and uh, new ideas on how to repair uh, MacBooks thank you and uh, God bless Please subscribe, don't forget.